All right, we're here at Baker Doubles 2019, the eighth annual Baker Doubles Thanksgiving Eve tournament. We're in the TV finals. We have Mikey Scrollball or something. Starting out with the first strike, his partner today is Matt Stanger. On the right lane, Kevin McCune with his partner, Grant Oler. Start with a strike as well. So this is the number five seed versus number six seed tonight. We had 72 teams ball this year. Top 16 made match play with 1,100 for five games. Right lane, Grant Oler, Kevin McCune, qualified fifth with 1179. Left lane, Matt Stanger in Mikey Schlaubach, qualified sixth with 1161. This is a two game total pinfall match. Double on one lane and then switch over and then bowl the second on the other. Total pinfall wins. Tonight we're paying out $1,000 for first place team, $700 for second place team. Gonna be kind of rapid fire here. Bowlers were lost in the gutter before this match. But this, this pair is fairly fresh, hasn't been used since the game five. pretty well. Finals sponsored by AboveAllBowling.com. For all your bowling equipment needs, AboveAllBowling.com has it. In the round of 16, Kevin McKean and Grant Oler, they took out Kanick and Hauser, not the same Hauser that we all know and hate. In the round of 8, they took out Akeem the African Dream, or better known as the One Man Gang, Scott Schmoll, and the big boss man, John Verbich. Final four, they took out Ryan Handler and Tim Merchick to make the TV finals today. Stander and Skullbox, path to the finals, they took out. Adam Petrowski and Rusty Brinka, round of 16, in round of 8, they took out Tyler Napier and Toby Krause. Final four, Austin Schultz, Brian Valenta, and that's their path today to the final. Sponsored by BubbleBubble.com. So back to the match. McEwen and Oler. Looks to have about a one pin lead here as long as he makes a spare. Whoa! Didn't like that one. That almost went through the ceiling. I'm glad his arm is still attached. Hit me up. Get the seven pin to go. We are making good time this year. It's only 3.40 a.m. Back in 2012, the first year we did this, championship finals didn't get done until 7 a.m. 
Yes, the sun was coming up. I believe uh, Kevin's dad, Eugene, was in the finals that day. And him and Kevin had to go to Olympia and bowl an hour after they finished. Fun times back in 2012. strategy going on right now, figuring out these, uh, these lanes, what they're going to do here. Yes, that was seriously outside. A little more oil than what they were on the last couple games. They had a loft. Back to their shop, probably in a round of 16, they'll be good. Well, I think Standers figured it out. Oh, almost throwing. Hands like his father. So 113 in the seventh for McCune and Oler. Stanger and Skolbach, they're up in the seventh right now. Take the lead here on a strike. Went back to the loft. Loft's not quite there yet. Ball went a little light. Lefties have had a decent shot today. We had two 300s in qualifying today. That was by. Ryan Lakota and Kyle Anderson. I'll set a 299 from Ryan Allender and Tim Merchick in the round of eight. So eighth frame coming up here. Stanager and Skullbach look like they're gonna have about a 12-pin lead at the moment. Let's see what happens here on this shot. Can't get the messenger. And we got some deadwood. We'll be back after the break while we get that deadwood. This deadwood break is brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards. I hope you don't fall. Good job, Claude. Alright, ninth frame. Bluff Lane's got about an 11 pin lead. Got the loft going. Not enough drive on the back, but enough to dance around. Alright, 10th frame coming up. 11 pin match between them right now. Bluff lane with the lead. Oh boy. Stuff a nine. That's a big shot right there. Let's see if Grant capitalizes here. Take the lead. There it is. Great job.
Gonna need the count. Got the count. Standard Starbuck finish with 184. Cram here. Spare for 183. Now 182. So a two pin lead by Stanger and Skullbach. We'll see what happens in game two here. Two pin advantage. Throwing his trusty old purple urethane hammer. Good luck finding those now that Brunswick bought them out. Have a night. Which old channel? Oh, stands are moving in front of the ball return on the uh, right lane here. Is good. All right, so Kevin's gonna have to figure this one out. I'll we'll start it hooking right about 40 feet down lane. Maybe sooner. Let's see if he makes the adjustment here. Yeah? Going to the loft. Loft works. Big double right there. Mikey goes to the loft, a little lame, light hit, Inman sub. Playing the light hit on the right lane with the loft. Sometimes it just don't go here. See if Grant can find it. All ten. It's three in a row. From McEwen and Oler. All right, see if McEwen can repeat. There's the loft. The hook. Oh, in the head. Alright, so Grant's going to be finishing up at 6 frame. Mikey's going to be going with his 5th frame here. When you start striking, and Baker, you start to get that lead. 
sometimes it's not always easy for that other team to come back. Puts a little pressure on them. These guys are no stranger to pressure, I'll tell you that. Oh, man, that dominoes. McHugh with the loft, the double loft. Oh, we had a big mistake there. Loft a little too much. Ball never got into a roll. It's trouble with the loft sometimes. Fifty-three. Still a lot of game left. Just made it closer. No oh, lazy tenth. Oh, and it went. So Matt Stanager carry right there. I didn't mention before, that guy's good. Alright, big shot here. He's gonna need this one to double up. Gotta hook a little. Oh, he's a wiggling five. Kevin learned from his last mistake. Strikes with authority. Test frame coming up. Grant can strike out here with 243. Standard and Stallback can strike out with 237. Grant's going to need all three here to shut him out. Oh, we swung that one out. One eight. Three pin, they got a chance. Three things behind him. Let's see if the pressure here. Let's see if he can come through. If I was a bet man, I'd always bet on the stander. He always comes through here. Here we go, get the first. There it is. one for sure. Gonna need 221, I believe, to win. Slow roll, kind of double dribble. Got that time to no fall. So 
looks like all he needs is a good count. I believe seven or eight on the first one should do it. He's going to probably throw it hard and straight down the middle. Well, kind of. Ten pins, good enough. Final score of that game, 226 to 222, which gives them 404 to 410. Congratulations to Matt Stanger and Mikey Skalbach on winning the 2019 Baker Doubles Tournament. See you next year. Visit ShawnsTournaments.com, NewtonsAvailable.com, AboveAllBowling.com. Find us on YouTube, youtube.com slash holy tournaments.